Hello again, PC. Time to make another video. Um, I'm actually making this and I haven't even posted the last part of my Zuniden trilogy um, as of yet, although it is going up as I speak. Um, record buying has picked up again, work's picked up again, funds are picked up again, um, bits and pieces coming in and uh, stuff, so got enough to make a video. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I suppose now, I went to a concert here in, well, in Christchurch and it was a lady who I'd heard a couple of songs of and who had come pretty highly recommended. Actually saw her down at the Lines of Flight in Dunedin. She is a Dunedin artist. Um, she has attended, she attended the first concert, the first night of the Lines of Flight Festival and uh, we spotted her down there. And I hadn't heard a lot of her music, but I knew I was going to catch up with it at some stage because, yeah, it, it, she comes pretty highly regarded. And um, so I went to the concert that she played here at the Blue Smoke, which is not a big venue, but it was fairly full. And uh, she does kind of a folky um, alt country Americana sort of thing. Um, and this is it playing in the background, this is her new album, um, yeah, beautiful music. The concert wasn't the best thing I'd seen, I, I guess part of it was my unfamiliarity, unfamiliarity of her music, with her music, and yeah, I don't know what else it was, it just, I enjoyed it and she put on a good show, but it didn't really fire me, but I did buy both her records while I was there, um, playing in the background. This one here, this is her second album, Preservation. It's only just come out a matter of a few weeks ago. And that's what's playing on this in the background. So that's her on the cover. She's a young girl, young lady. Um, surprisingly tall. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the albums. Um, this one is, well, both of them are pretty good. This is the first album that came out. 2012, 2013, no, maybe a bit later than that. It's not that old. Um, so this is what really kind of made her um, well known. Listen to formation, look for the signs. Nadia Reed. Great, great music. So I've been doing a bit of stuff in the post, getting a bit of stuff in the post, and also. Um, all New Zealand stuff, but just aside, I picked this one up recently. Um, yeah, I was in town. Why was I in town? Oh, that's right, I had a doctor's appointment. <laughs> and uh, swung by the record shop on the way back out of town before I did some more jobs for the afternoon. I was summing through the new release, but then I came across this, and I'd been looking for this for quite a while. Um, I see on Discogs it's not hugely uncommon, but you don't see it around here very much, and, and I did pay the price for it, unfortunately, because like a lot of things, you know, you, you can pick them up for two or three dollars on Discogs in, in the States and places like that, but um, the cost of getting them here adds to the cost, so we ended up paying the same amount. But this is a compilation album, The Velvet Monkeys. They were around from the early 80s until the late 80s. This is a shimmy disc record. Now, I actually knew this from the time it was released in 1989, 1990. We actually, well, a friend of mine had a copy of it on CD, oh, not CD, on cassette, I think. And I, I remember thinking, yeah, this is really, really cool. This is a great album. But I haven't heard it for many, many years. And so it was really wrecked. So this is a beautiful copy. It's in, it's in the mint condition. The cover is absolutely fantastic. Not a, not a mark on it, it's a tiny ding there. And the vinyl's beautiful, plays really well. So anyway, played this a few times, and yeah, man, it still held up really well. It's actually better than I remember it. Um, so really pleased to find that. So good score, highly recommended. So on to the New Zealand stuff. Uh, I seem to be missing a record for some reason. No, there it is. Okay, 
this one here is a New Zealand punk record, uh, Grave Mind. So I came across this via Chris Walker's radio show again, but the guy that plays the lead guitar and the singer actually met him down in Dunedin at the um, Lines of Flight in the second night. He was there and I had a little chat to him. He's actually on one of the Facebook groups that I'm a member of, vinyl groups. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, Chris had actually spoken to him and he said, oh, that's Sam. And I said, oh, yeah, cool. I went and had a chat to him. Anyway, and I didn't actually know at that time that this was his, that he had a band and it was, this was a record, but um, Chris played the next show he did after Lines of Flight. He played a copy of this, played a song off of this. And I had a look on the net and managed to find a copy. There was nothing left on Bandcamp of, of, of it, and fortunately they had a copy at the Dunedin Record Shop, which I bought a whole lot of New Zealand stuff at, which I talked about on my New Zealand video, my New Zealand, my Dunedin video. Anyway, yeah, this is really cool. Pretty old-style punk, bit like, it reminds me that maybe of something like Anti-Nowhere League, you know, that sort of stuff, sort of, you know, between hard rock and punk. Um, track one the actual title to the album grave mind and the name's the name of the band as well that is an awesome instrumental track really really good yeah it's a fairly short album but there are quite a few tracks on it there's 12 13 tracks all up but yeah really cool so got that and then um this week i ordered also from Dunedin, there's a record label called monkey killer records and monkey killer i have showed a couple of records from them they have a very small discography as a matter of fact they have only five releases um, so far and i'd had their very first release and i also had their last release which was the triumph album which was an instrumental um rock heavy rock instrumental type album which is really good and <clears throat> happened to decided that i'd like to yeah again chris had played track off one of these records on a show and I decided it's time to pick up the rest of the discography and also again one of the guys that's the guy that runs the record company he's in one of these bands and he also um, lives in Dunedin these are Dunedin bands and Chris was actually trying to catch up with him while we were in Dunedin but that never happened um, for whatever reason but anyway, first one is called Operation Rolling Thunder, and that is the name of the band, and the album is three. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is their only record. This was from 2010. This is their third release on Monkey Killer Records. Um, so this again is fairly mostly uh, instrumental. if there's any singing on it or not. I've only listened to it once, it's only just arrived a few days ago. Um, but pretty cool, pretty heavy. Um, and then this one here, this is the one I really wanted. Um, this one here, the band is called Idiot Prayer, and that's actually the band that the guy David who's in, who runs the company is in. And this is the, this is from 2011, and this is the fourth, yeah, M R. Uh, Monkey Killer Records 004, this is the fourth. Again, this is fairly heavy, alt rock. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, this one's got singing on it, and vocals on it, some great songs, especially side one. Um, Black, Eyed, Black Black Eyes is a fantastic track, and that's the one that Chris had played on his radio show, which I heard. And then Sausage Spectrum is also a pretty far out song, but the whole thing's pretty cool. There's a song called Belt of Space, which is interesting, which is um, the name of a New Zealand band, a very well-known New Zealand band. So I picked up those, or ordered those two records off his website, and he emailed me and said, oh, look, I'll do you some sort of deal on the postage, he says, because um, the postage I had was for more for international, and it was a bit high, and also you've got two records. I said, yeah, and I couldn't combine, the, couldn't, couldn't combine them. So he offered me a copy of the of the very first record and I said well I've actually got that and I said why don't you chuck me in a copy of that seven inch you've got there that's the only one and I don't normally buy seven inch records but this actually is cool so he chucked this in for you know just to alleviate the cost of postage I had to pay and this is Mountain Eater and the track it's a two song 33 rpm uh, record 
which means the track's a bit longer. Again, fairly heavy instrumental rock. Um, there is some vocals on it. Yeah, really, really cool. Uh, they did have an album out, but only in digital form. I don't think it was ever released in any kind of physical format, which is unfortunate. Um, would be nice to see that, because yeah, they are pretty cool. So they're all Dunedin bands, and they pretty much complete my Monkey Killer Records discography for now. Um, we do understand that the Triumphs, um, who put out the last album, have recorded a new album, and I emailed David about that, and he said we, that he was still in negotiation with them as to whether he would release it or not on his label, so we have no idea when that's going to come out, but hopefully soon, because they are really cool. Today, in the mail arrived a couple of records that I ordered off flying out, um, because they were pretty much on sale, so I got them for more than half price. Um, first one is this lady here, Sarah Mary Chadwick. This is her first album uh, from 2012. Um, she's an ex-Kiwi living in Melbourne, Australia, and records over there. And this is her, yeah, like I say, her first album. So I picked it up pretty cheap. I'm actually trying to chase up some more of her albums. Her last album is the one I really want. And I was going to order it through Bandcamp, but they, the postage was more than the record just to get it from Australia. So, um, you know, uh, although I can pick it up here locally, and it, it, it is about five, seven or eight dollars cheaper actually that way um, because I'm not paying more than the record for postage, which is ridiculous. Um, it's a bit of a shame. But interestingly enough, today. She's got three albums out today. I found by pure chance when I was surfing and looking around for stuff, one of her records on Fish Pond for five bucks, second album. So, um, had a quick listen to this. It's pretty raw. It's pretty raw. It's pretty lo fi. I'm not sure. I know that I like her own later stuff, so give it a few more chances. And the last one that arrived again was another one off flying out again, or I got it on sale. Um, basically it's probably something they've had sitting around for a while haven't been able to sell um, which is a shame for the bands but um, this is Surf City um, Kudos is the name of the album and it's kind of upbeat noisy indie pop and to me this it actually did get better the first song I was going oh I don't know about this you know um, it's pretty noisy and, and that but um, yeah it did get pretty good actually I was quite impressed by the end of it and I thought, it's, on the side one, I kind of thought, mm, they're kind of trying to be a bit of a 3D, kind of sort of rip the 3Ds off a bit. Or they, they certainly got a, they got a very flying nun sound. Um, they're actually on Arch Hill. Yeah, Arch Hill, which is a um, pretty cool New Zealand label. Um, but I thought, in the end of it, my description is a cross between the 3Ds and the Beach Boys. That's what I got. And there is a little bit of a surf, you know, they are called Surf City, and there is a little bit of a surf aspect to their music, um, yeah, and, and, and a very flying nun aspect as well. So, yeah, pretty cool album. So, that was cool. So, there we have it eight new records, nine new records um, that I've picked up in the last sort of three weeks, and I've got several more coming in the post, and uh, yeah, we'll make another video when they arrive. So, yep, yeah, good to talk to you. Thank you. We'll see you again.